Hey guys, Joe here, Jebel Coy Center. Today we will let's just give a quick reaction on this uh, article that I have posted in wikiout.com. Uh, this article was, uh, the information on this was not purely from me already. It was co-authored by 11 authors. So, let's just uh, read a certain part of this article and we will give our end. we will read another on another video. So let's just choose this part. Oh, so okay, let's read this one. How to breed koi fish? Breeding koi can be a lot of fun, but it's a time-consuming process. Yes, this is so true. To breed koi for a profit, it is important to choose koi that show the physical attributes that you are looking for in an offspring. Uh, I agree this one since uh, this is the original article that I posted. So, okay. why we need to uh, breed certain uh, the same variety? The breeder should be the same variety so that one the one reason is if whenever we will uh, cull our koi fry, we will we don't have the difficulty to choose. For example, if the breeder is uh, Showa, the koi fry usually are black, so the uh, other colors we you will separate them if there are no blacks. And same with Kuhako, if all the breeders are Kuhako during culling process, if there are uh, other color appear, he will cull it. So that's the reason why we need to choose the same. Uh, variety in breeding and also uh, one of the reason is uh, to maintain its variety maintain its strain since the koi variety uh, is a product also for uh, of course breeding so if you add another variety in your breeding it will uh, destroy the strain uh, here Keep the pond clean from free from predators to increase the percentage of toy eggs that will hatch and survive their early weeks of life. So this is true. We need to make sure our breeding tank is free from predators since we will going to hatch the eggs there and raise the koi fry there. So if there's a predator in the breeding tank, our percentage of uh, our harvest, our yield of uh, Koi fry is less, so let's make sure that the breeding tank is free from predators and it's clean. Uh, my reaction on this in choosing koi to breed, this one, is, this photo, they say that this uh, the koi size when it's three years old is ten inches. It's not true. Maybe if it's stunted, maybe 10 inches or less. Since the average koi, koi growth rate is per year 6 to 7 inches for a normal koi. So multiply, for example, if it the koi fish growth rate is 6 inches, multiply by 3, so it would be 18 inches. So this is wrong. And this one, choose a koi that are at least three years old. Uh, this is, should be applied for females since uh, male, if if it's two years old, it's already, uh, it for male, two years old is already uh, matured enough. Uh, so koi don't sexually mature. It's uh, for males, two years old, they are already sexually mature. And this is should be applied for female. The reason why we need to choose a three-year-old female is a uh, younger female koi fish uh, eggs have thin membrane. Uh, I will show you fish eggs membrane. So that you will have the idea. 
ear, cell egg membranes, this one. If it's too young, it's thin, so it can protect the fry. So it, the fry is uh, weak and easily die and deform. The offsprings are deformed, not, not good. So this one also identify at least one male and one female to see to stay in the mating band. This is wrong. Uh, the ratio should be two male and one female, and it, they should not be together in the mating pond. Uh, if the female is not ready to spawn yet, and uh, same with the male, you should separate them since, as we know, uh, labs grow founder distance can make labs grow founder. Um, also. Female should be separate, separated from male first if its abdomen is not fully uh, stunted yet, not uh, swollen yet. Since for uh, swollen abdomen of a female indicates that the eggs are full of eggs already and if you touch if it's a bit soft the eggs are mature and it's ready to spawn so if not you need to condition the female and male separate them from other tanks before adding them during breeding so i don't know where they get this idea the contributor of this photo so let's just uh react on this portion and we'll make another video next um for the next uh informations and photos we will react this on the uh, next video so that we will not make the video so long and boring <laughs> <coughs> so comment down below guys if you have any questions about koi breathing and also, hit that red bell notification button for you to be updated on my next reaction on this uh, article, How to Breed Koi Fish, uh, that I posted in wikihow.com. That was contributed by 11 co-authors. I don't know where they got their information, but for me, they are not breeders. They didn't have the don't have the actual uh, experience um, ex experience in koi breeding we didn't get that from I, any other articles then contributed it here rewrite it because it's not their information is not accurate so let's continue this on my next video so for those new watching this video, just hit that red bell notification button for you to be updated on my next reaction on this article. So, and comment down below if you have any questions. And for those who would like to be shout out on my next video, comment down below. Also, check out the link in the description below about koi breeding. I have an article here in my website mm. actually I have an article about koi breeding here which is more accurate and I added also my videos koi breeding Koi breeding here. I will be adding. I add this to the description below. Okay. Bye for now, guys. See you on my next video.